The patient should arrive to the operating room wearing a regular surgical mask. The clinician should remove the face mask and immediately apply the anesthesia circuit face mask to decrease the patient's droplet exposure. We should perform a rapid sequence induction and avoid positive pressure ventilation to decrease aerosolization of the virus. Rapid sequence induction starts with pre-oxygenation for five minutes. Note that to preserve the flow of this video, we have skipped the five minute of pre-oxygenation. Drugs are then administered and after 45 seconds, indirect laryngoscopy is performed. Avoid getting close to the patient's airway. If not clinically indicated, avoid patient auscultation. Place disposable GlideScope blade and the endotracheal tube stylet in a designated biohazard bag. After intubation, note that a clamp is placed on the endotracheal tube. This clamp remains in place until the anesthesia circuit gets connected to the endotracheal tube. The endotracheal tube balloon should be inflated to avoid any air leak around the endotracheal tube. In addition to decreasing the risk of OR contamination with the patient's secretions, gauze is then applied around the endotracheal tube, the nose, and the patient's eyes.